O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Firmly I believe, and truly, God is three, and God is one, and I next acknowledge duly manhood taken by the Son. And I trust and hope most fully in that manhood crucified. And each thought and deed unruly do to death as he has died. Simply to his grace and holy light and life and strength belong. And I love supremely solely in the holy, in the strong. Adoration I be given with and through the angelic cause. To the God of earth and heaven, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. It is you whom I invoke, O Lord. In the morning you hear me. To my words give ear, O Lord. Give heed to my groaning. Attend the sound of my cries, my King and my God. It is you whom I invoke, O Lord. In the morning you hear me. In the morning I offer you my prayer, watching and waiting. You and O God who loves evil, no sinner is your guest. The boastful shall not stand their ground before your face. You hate all who do evil. You destroy all who lie. The deceitful and bloodthirsty man the Lord detests. But I, through the greatness of your love, have access to your house. I bow down before your holy temple, filled with awe. Lead me, Lord, in your justice, as of those who lie in wait. May clear your way before me. No truth can be found in their mouths. Their heart is all mischief. Their throat a wide open grave. All honey in their speech. All those you protect should be glad. And ring at their joy. You shelter them in you that rejoice. Those who love your name. It is you who bless the just man, Lord. You surround him with favours with a shield. To the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, give praise for every man. It is you whom I invoke, O Lord. In the morning you hear me. Lord our God, we praise the splendour of your name. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of Israel, our Father, for ever and ever. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness and the power, and the glory and the victory and the majesty. For all that is in the heavens and in the earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head above all. Both riches and honour come from you, and you rule over all. In your hand are power and might. And in your hand it is to make great, 
and to give strength to all. And now we thank you, our God, and praise your glorious name. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord our God, we praise the splendour of your name. Adore the Lord in his holy cord. I give the Lord, you sons of God, give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Adore the Lord in his holy God. The Lord's voice resounding on the waters. The Lord on the immensity of waters. The voice of the Lord will of power. The voice of the Lord will of splendor. The Lord's voice shattering the cedars. The Lord shatters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon leap like a calf and searing like a young wild ox. The Lord's voice flashes flames of fire. The Lord's voice shaking the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The Lord's voice rending the oak tree and stripping the forest bare. The God of glory thunders. In his temple they all cry glory. The Lord's enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits as King forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. To the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, give praise forever. Amen. Adore the Lord in his holy court. We gave you a rule when we were with you, not to let anyone have any food if you refuse to do any work. Now we hear that there are some of you who are living in idleness, doing no work themselves, but interfering with everyone else's. In the Lord Jesus Christ, we order and call on people of this kind to go on quietly working and earning the food that they eat. My brothers, Never grow tired of doing what is right. Blessed be the Lord from age to age. Blessed be the Lord from age to age. He alone has wrought marvellous works. Blessed be the Lord from age to age. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Blessed be the Lord from age to age. Blessed be the Lord our God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant as he promised by the lips of a man those who were his prophets from of old a Saviour who would free us from our foes from the hands of all who hate us so his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant that free from fear and save from the hands of our foes 
We might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you should be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people the salvation through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Blessed be the Lord our God. As the new day begins, let us praise Christ, in whom is the fullness of grace and the Spirit of God. Lord, give us your Spirit. We praise you, Lord, and we thank you for all your blessings. Lord, give us your Spirit. Give us peace of mind and generosity of heart. Grant us health and strength to do your will. Give us, Lord, your Spirit. May your love be with us during the day. Guide us in our work. Lord, give us your Spirit. Be with all those who have asked our prayers and grant them all their needs. Lord, give us your Spirit. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Lord, be the beginning and end of everything we do and say. Prompt our actions with your grace and complete them with your all-powerful help. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.